So when thinking about the savings that come as a result of getting an improper equipment, it really depends on what your insurance costs right now. But generally for most speeding tickets that are resolved for Im by improper equipment reduction, uh, this underlying speeding charge would cause about a 60 to 80% increase to their insurance premium. So when you think about that over a three year period, uh, the savings from getting an improper equipment where you don't get any points or any insurance rate increase would generally be somewhere between $1,800 to $2,000. So when thinking about the cost of an improper equipment being maybe $60 to $70 more than the underlying court cost, uh, if you had just simply paid your ticket off, uh, that $1,800 or $2,000 spread out over three years is obviously going to be a lot higher of a burden than that $70 that you pay up front to get an improper equipment as opposed to just simply uh, paying your ticket off or maybe using a prayer for judgment continue. So you can see how even though an improper equipment is a little bit more expensive up front, the savings over the long term are huge and it basically is a no-brainer that you want to go ahead and get an improper equipment when you can.